What's up, trainers? Can your Alolan Mark deal this much damage? Empoleon. Jaratina. Sizer. All going down from just one Dark Pulse? How is that possible? Well, in this edition, I will be featuring Alolan Mark spewing Acid Spray in the Ultra League. In order to showcase a variety of gameplay and to avoid similar type battles, matches will be selected from different sets but using the same lineup. So with Alolan Mark, I am running Snarl, Dark Pulse and Acid Spray. What I particularly like about Acid Spray is its guaranteed debuff that decreases your opponent's defense by two stages. Next up, we have Cobalion. Cobalion is not commonly used but it can totally resist the usual suspects such as Tarantina, Togakiss and even Alolan Mark. But do keep it away from fire and fighting types. So with Cobalion, I'm running Metal Claw, Sacred Sword and Stone Age. And finally, we have Jarantina Altered Form as the tank in my team, running on Shadow Claw, Ancient Power and Dragon Claw. Jarantina is a top pick in Ultra League, so if you have it, flaunt it! With that said, let's get on with the battles! On to our first match, and we will be leading with Alolan Mark throughout these battles. The strategy here is pretty straightforward. Start off with Acid Spray to bait shields and lower defenses, then follow up with Dark Pulse to take them out if possible. So we see Empoleon letting through the Acid Spray as his defense harshly falls. It gets to his charge move. It is a Hydro Cannon and we are letting that through, building up to Dark Pulse. Dishing it out. She lets it through and Empoleon goes down. In comes Charizard. We are trying to get up to another Acid Spray, but not enough. Lulan Mark goes down. And we are bringing in Jarantina. As Cobalion, being a Steel type, would suffer super effective damage from Charizard. We are going to shield up here. It is a Blast Burn and she swaps out to a Lolan Mark just as we got to Ancient Power. This would not do much to a Lolan Mark. So we are looking to swap into Cobalion here which will be able to resist all the charge moves coming in from a Lolan Mark. So no shields. Dark Pulse is not very effective as we build up to Sacred Sword. This would deal some good neutral damage if she doesn't shield. But she does. And is able to build up to another charge move. Should be Dark Pulse again. We are letting that through. As we get to Sacred Sword. But she swaps out to Charizard. We should have waited a little longer and if we are able to dish out Stone Age, it would have taken out Charizard if she doesn't shield. So we are able to swap in Jarantina just before Charizard gets to his charge move. Jarantina is able to tank that Blast Burn and dish out Dragon Claw. She shields. In comes another charge attack. We are still going to let that through. Blast burn again. Okay. Without shields, the next Dragon Claw will take out Charizard. A Lolan Mark comes back in. Looks like it has gotten to his charge move before us. We are going to shield up here as Dark Pulse will take out Jarantina. As we get to Dragon Claw. This won't be enough to take out a Lulan Mark. So 
So we're going to do a swap here to Cobalion. Trying to get up to Sacred Sword. But not before Alolumak gets to his charge move. So Cobalion goes down. Jarantina comes back in. And this Dragon Claw would help us seal the first game. On to our second game. And we are up against Jarantina. So this is a favourable matchup for us. And it looks like Jarantina is staying in the game as we build up to Acid Spray. Looking to bait a shield here and lower its defence at the same time. He shields and is able to get to his charge move. We are going to let that through. It is a Shadow Sneak and it doesn't do very much. We are building up to Dark Pulse but he switches over to Charizard. So we're going to dish out Acid Spray again with the same intention to beat a shield and lower its defense. He lets it through this time. So we are switching over to Jarantina. Charizard is able to get to his charge move. This should be a Dragon Claw. We are going to let that through as we build up to Ancient Power. This would take out Charizard with its defense fallen. He lets it through and Charizard goes down. He brings back Jarantina. And we are able to get up to Dragon Claw. Dishing it out. He lets it through. And is able to build up to another charge move. We are going to shield here as we are also almost able to reach our Dragon Claw. And he switches over to Raikou, just as we dish out Dragon Claw. So that's a good swap on his part. Raikou is an electric legendary Pokemon that has access to Shadow Ball as well. So we are bringing a Lolan Mark here, dishing out Acid Spray, again to lower its defense and bait a shield. He shields, so that is good for us. We are going to let a Lolan Mark go down here. It is a Shadow Ball. We are bringing in Cobalion. Raikou is getting to another charge move. Shadow Ball again. We are letting that through as Cobalion is able to tank that. We are building up to a Sacred Sword. This would take out Raikou with his defense lowered. He brings back Jarantina and he's able to get to his charge move. We are going to let that through. Shadow Sneak won't take out Cobalion yet. And we are dishing out Sacred Sword as we are not able to get to Stone Age in time. He is not able to take out Jarantina. Cobalion goes down and our Jarantina comes back in. Taking out his Jarantina and sealing the second game. On to our third game. And we are up against Charizard. So with the same strategy as before, we are going to build up to an Acid Spray. With the aim of baiting a shield and to drop its defense. But not before taking a Dragon Claw from Charizard. And now dishing out Acid Spray. He lets it through and its defense has harshly fallen. So we are building up to a Dark Pulse now. Let's see if Charizard will shield. He lets it through again and Charizard goes down. In comes Mewtwo. So we're going to Acid Spray Mewtwo. Let's see if he shields. He does. And he switches out to Jaratina. 
So we're going to ask it to spray Gerentina as well. And with the switch lock, Gerentina is not going anywhere. He shields. And we are going to shield against Gerentina to preserve Alolan Mark's health as we build up to a Dark Pulse. Without shields left, this should be super effective. We just missed that excellent. Oh, and it almost takes out Gerentina. I believe if we had hit excellent on that Dark Pulse, it would have taken out Gerentina for sure. On to our fourth game. And we are up against Swampert. Although Alolan Mark is weak to ground types, it is able to hold its ground against Swampert. So we are able to stay in the game. We are going to let the first Hydro Cannon through. As we build up to Acid Spray. Let's see if Swampert will shield. He lets it through. And the second Hydro Cannon is coming in. We have to shield up here. Otherwise it will take out a Lodan Mark. And now we are building up to Dark Pulse. Let's see if he will shield. He lets it through. And we are almost able to take out Swampert, but not before the third Hydro Cannon comes in. We are going to let this through. A Lodan Mark goes down and we will bring in Jarantina to take out Swampert. He brings in Mamoswine. This is not good for us as Mamoswine has access to Avalanche which will deal super effective damage to Jarantina. So we're going to swap out after this Dragon Claw into Cobalion. which will be able to tank the Avalanche coming in. And he switches into Marchem. This is not a good position for Cobalion. Although being a fighting type itself, its part steel type makes it weak to other fighting types. So as Marchem shields the Sacred Sword, it is able to build up to his charge move. We are going to let this through as there is no point saving Cobalion here. So Jaratina comes back in. After we dish out this Dragon Claw, with no shields left, we are looking to farm down Marchem and build up some energy. Marchem is able to get to another charge move. We are still going to let this through. It is a dynamic punch. It doesn't do much. We are continuing farming down Marchem. I think he realizes that and he switches into Mamoswine. With a lot of energy stored up, we are going to dish out back to back Dragon Claws on Mamoswine. This will be able to bring Mamoswine's health down very low. Plus, that we have a shield left. So, we are able to shield this Avalanche coming in. And take out Mamoswine. Marchem comes back in. And we dish out the final Dragon Claw. And seal the fourth game. On to our fifth game. And we are up against Sizer. Sizer is able to get up to his charge move Night Slash faster than a Lolan Mark can get to his charge move. But we are not seeing it coming, so he could be saving up on energy. We are going to dish out Acid Spray on Sizer. And we get the shield. So that's good for us. And he switches into Swampert. So we're going to dish out Acid Spray on Swampert as well. And look to switch into Jarantina, since Swampert is stuck in the switch lock. This should be a Hydro Cannon coming in. We are going to let that through as Jaratina is able to tank that. Building up to a Dragon Claw. Let's see if we get the shield here. 
his shields and they are out of shields I made a mistake here of not shielding as Swampert has enough energy for an earthquake he takes a chunk of health off Jarantina as we dish out another Dragon Claw this should bring Swampert's health down real low he switches back to Sizer and this should be a Night Slash coming in we're gonna let that through since Jarantina's health is already quite low we are bringing back a Lolan Mark this should be another Night Slash coming in we're gonna shield, it is an Iron Head so we're gonna dish out Acid Spray here although he is out of shields but we are gonna soften Sizer for Cobalion so switching into Cobalion Night Slash would not do much to Cobalion but Sacred Sword with the Acid Spray debuff on Sizer would be able to take it out Sizer goes down and he brings in Jarantina so we are gunning for Stone Age here as Sacred Sword will not do much to Jarantina but he switches back to Swampert so we are dishing out Sacred Sword on Swampert to take it out Swampert goes down Jarantina comes back in we are building up to Stone Age dishing it out this should deal some good neutral damage to Jarantina another Dragon Claw coming in we are going to let that through saving the shield for a Lolan Mark and switching into a Lolan Mark now building up to Dark Pulse another Dragon Claw coming in so we're going to use the shield here and dish out Dark Pulse this should take out Jarantina and give us the 5th game on to our 6th and final game for this video and we are up against another Sizer in the lead but this time it is a shiny so let's see how this match pans out as compared to the previous one Sizer is able to get up to his charge move pretty fast and he doesn't hold back it is a night slash and we are letting it chew we are dishing out acid spray now he lets it chew and his defense is debuffed he's gotten to his charge move again it is an X scissors this time looks like he's trying out different charge move to see how it affects a little map but we are able to get up to our Dark Pulse now he doesn't shield and Sizer goes down in comes Charizard we are trying to build up to Acid Spray here but not in time a little map goes down and we are bringing in Jarantina Charizard's Dragon Claw is ready now we are letting the first one through it connects and we are building up to ancient power but not before another dragon claw comes in we are going to shield the second one and dish out ancient power let's see if he shields he does and he swaps out to snorlax so uh, we are building up some energy here before swapping into Cobalion Snorlax has farmed up some energy it is an earthquake we thought it might have been baited as a body slam so that's why we didn't shield we are going for sacred sword now Snorlax shields we should have enough health to build up to another sacred sword 
this should be super effective but it's not going to be enough to take out Snorlax which is just so bulky we're going to let this body slam through as Kobalayon's health is just way too low Jarantina comes back in and we are dishing out Dragon Claw still not enough to take out Snorlax so we have to get to another one we took a little bit too long farming up energy and Snorlax has another body slam ready so we're gonna shield this and dish out an undercharged Dragon Claw just so that we are able to farm a little bit more energy before taking on Charizard so our Dragon Claw is ready this will not be enough to take out Charizard yet so it is a race to Dragon Claw and we are able to get there first and just like that we are able to take the 6th game and it is a very close one Alright, this brings us to the end of this set of 6 selected battles featuring a Lolan Mark with Acid Spray In about half of these battles, we do get a shield on the opening Acid Spray which almost always demands another shield on the follow-up attack or risk going down due to the lowered defense and if they did not shield on the opening acid spray they would have to on the follow-up attack the only way to reset the debuff is to switch out and that creates an opportunity to debuff the incoming pokemon and take it out during the switch lock so what do you think of acid spray and will you consider using it let me know in the comments below in my next video I will be featuring a legendary Pokemon with access to Wild Charge and Shadow Ball. It is none other than Raikou. So if you would like to find out whether it is worth investing in Raikou, do subscribe and be notified when that video comes out. In the meantime, keep improving your game and I will see you in the next one.